Hey everyone, it's Kurt. Welcome to my channel where I dive into fitness products, do a cost breakdown, and share with you my honest thoughts. Today's review is a little different. I'm stepping away from fitness equipment and jumping into the world of electric bikes. Specifically, I'm reviewing the Elio Spacewalk M7 electric bike for adults. Link in the description. Why I wanted an e-bike. I already have a sweet three-speed electric cruiser decked out with surf racks and a basket on front to carry groceries. But I can't lie, I'm getting jealous of my neighbors and their e-bikes. They check the surf and zip back up the hill while I'm stuck making zigzag S-turns, sweating it out to get home. It's time for a change. E-bikes are booming in popularity these days, but they don't come cheap. Many models start at $1,000 or more, so I decided to ease into the trend with a more budget-friendly option. The Spacewalk M7 at $699 seemed like the perfect introduction to the e-bike world. Hey you guys, I hate to interrupt like this, but I need to ask you a favor. A lot of you out there are watching my videos but not subscribing. In fact, more people watch my videos that are not subscribers that are subscribers that watch my videos. So I'm just asking you a favor, if you really like these videos and you want me to do more reviews on fitness products and that kind of stuff, do me a favor and subscribe. That would be huge for me. And obviously, if you don't want to, that's fine too, but at least hit that like button. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate it. My love-hate relationship with e-bikes. First, let's talk pros. E-bikes make commuting greener, replacing cars and cutting down on traffic and fossil fuel use. They're also great for quick grocery runs or lunch meetups without breaking a sweat. And for those of us who live in hilly areas like me, they provide much needed assistance. Plus they make cycling accessible for those of us who might not otherwise ride. But here's the flip side. E-bikes are basically electric motorcycles. Riders, especially the younger ones, don't always understand or know how to handle the power of them, thus leading to accidents. I've seen kids fly down my street at over 25 miles an hour, narrowly avoiding cars and pedestrians. That's why I believe e-bike riders should be at least 16 years old and have some sort of license or training before they even step foot on an e-bike. Unboxing and assembling of my Spacewalk M7. Elio gave me this bike for free, thanks Elio, and I promised to share my honest thoughts on it. I told them I might give it a good review or a bad review, and they were fine either way. I really applaud their confidence. Let's talk about shipping first. It arrived in just three days, which was impressive. At 83 pounds, it's heavy, so moving it is a team effort. If you're not comfortable lifting that much weight, I recommend having some help. Assembly. The bike came about 75% assembled, which was nice, but the directions left a lot left to be desired. The tools weren't labeled, so it took a little bit of trial and error to figure things out. Luckily, with the help of my two neighbors, one of which knew how to put a bike together from scratch, the whole process took about two hours. Here's a pro tip. If you're not handy, consider taking it to a bike shop to get assembled. You'll want to feel that everything is secure, especially when you're traveling at over 25 miles an hour. Now my first impressions and test rides. Here's some specs on the bike. Its max speed is 24.9 miles per hour. Its motor is 48 volts with 750 watts. The battery takes about six hours to charge. The directions specifically say not to leave the battery charging for over six hours. I'm not sure why this is so. I'm thinking maybe some damage might occur to the battery if you do that. So be sure to disconnect the charger to the battery after six hours. The tires are nice and big, 20 inches by four inches. The brakes are mechanical disc brakes. And like I said, the overall weight is 83.8 pounds, so about 84 pounds. On day one, I started in manual mode and just pedaled the bike using its Shimano shifters. Everything worked fine except for first gear, which didn't seem to quite click in for some reason. So I used it in second when I was climbing hills. Then I switched to electric mode and it was game on. The throttle works like a motorcycle grip where you just kind of turn it to get power. And the sleek modern LCD display is a nice design and gives you all of your facts that you need like miles per hour, odometer, power, etc. Here are my highlights from the test rides. Speed and maneuverability. The bike is agile and hits speeds of 24 miles per hour easily on flat roads. It's perfect for cruising around the neighborhood. Hill climbing. 
It handled moderate hills with about 11% grade pretty well, but it only reached speeds of 11 to 13 miles per hour. It struggled on steeper grades, like this one, which was 17.5%, and it actually conked out going up that one. But to be honest, I did not expect it to make it on the steeper part of this hill that I was riding on. Comfort. The ride was fun, but the seat position is pretty low. It's only 31.5 inches off the pavement. This made me feel hunched over. Taller riders might find it uncomfortable for longer distances. Now the pros and cons. First, the pros. It's affordable at $699. It's a nice sleek design. I actually got a lot of compliments on it from neighbors. It's easy to ride and maneuver, and it comes mostly assembled. Now the cons. The directions for assembly need improvement. It basically comes with pictures and very limited instruction on how to put things together, which can make it a little frustrating. Its small size is not ideal for adults. It lacks power for very steep hills, and the brakes could be a little more responsive, especially when you're going down steep hills. Hey you guys, I hate to interrupt like this, but I need to ask you a favor. A lot of you out there are watching my videos but not subscribing. In fact, more people watch my videos that are not subscribers that are subscribers that watch my videos. So I'm just asking you a favor if you really like these videos and you want me to do more reviews on fitness products and that kind of stuff, do me a favor and subscribe. That would be huge for me. And obviously, if you don't want to, that's fine too, but at least hit that like button. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate it. Here's my final verdict. If you're an adult over 40 and over five foot 10, the Spacewalk M7 may not be the best fit for longer rides. But if you're looking for an affordable e-bike for short trips and light cruising, it's a solid option. For adults, I'll give it a six out of 10. However, if you're shopping for a teenager, this bike is a fantastic choice. It's affordable, stylish, and not overly powerful for teens. For teens, I'd rate it an eight out of 10. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, please hit that like button and of course subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram where I go by Kurt Fitfi. I'll see you in the next video.